Hey everybody, welcome to fly time. What we're going to be tying today is, is a sheep's head fly. It's an old Appalachian pattern that has caught fish for a lot of years up in the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, it's a fly that is named after the, the actual, I guess it's a horse fly that used to get on the sheep in the fields and, and conversely if you were fishing near those fields they would probably bite you. Uh, but the trout love them and it's you know, at a certain time of year, I guess, they eat the heck out of them. So this is a fly that's devised to imitate that, and um, so we're going to tie it tonight. Now what we're going to use for materials is a lightning strike nymph hook, size 14. You can go up to about a number 8 on this pattern. Use some wire. This is lead free. You can use leaded too. Um, use a chicken, you know, chicken hackle there, one of those hackles off of that, it's a hen, also a grizzly hen hackle, okay, and some gray nymph dubbing, all right, so let's get the time. Now the first thing we're going to do is put our weighting on this fly, okay, um, get this out and what we're going to do is we're just going to before we put the thread down we're going to put this on just going to wrap it like this start our six aught uni thread here. Put that together. I'm going to start towards the eye. Wrap a couple times. Wrap through that dub or the wire. Come back. I'm just going to trim trim this right here. Uh, pinch it together with our thumb. Put our tail on here and what we're going to use is a hackle I'm going to use this one I'm going to take this one just take some barbs off that hackle eight or ten just enough to get you a good tail there and I'm going to tie that on basically the length of the hook back here Shorten it up. There we go. Okay. That tied down. So what we're going to do is to just trim this up, shorten it up. There we go. And tie those little poo bars down. There we go. We end up back at the tail of the hook. Okay. Now, time to add our dubbing here. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to wax, wax my thread on this coarse dubbing. That's not totally necessary, but I like it. It just seems to help me. Now, this is a fly that you guys who really like to dub are going to love because it's not a sparse amount of dubbing. Okay, I'm going to put this on. I want this fly to be a little bushy here. Just a little bit more 
Got lots of little critters hanging out the back of it, which that's good. We'll turn a couple of these off. And actually, when you get through, if you can take your bobbin and just kind of pick that out, it seems to help. Makes it look a little buggier. But, you know, it looks good for right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a hackle feather right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in from the tip. All right. This little piece right here, which I'm going to trim. Until we get to something that looks just like this. And we're going to use that little nub in there as the purchase point. It's going to tie it in just like this. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to wrap this two or three times and we're just going to fold those and hackle back. Okay, so we come around, take our fingers and just wrap it back. Now that's twice. Let's, let's see. One more time might work. three times then we're gonna take our scissors and just trim that just like that okay as fat Albert says looking good I'm gonna trim that back and just tie it back like that okay so basically you got a combination here of a nymph and a wet fly okay now Looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take two grizzly hackles. I've got small ones here. It depends upon the size of the fly. But we're going to put them back to back here. Okay, sort of like that. Even them up. Okay, looks like this. And like this. And we want that to be the length of the fly. I'm just going to pinch that down just like this. My right hand. I'm going to take this. Pinch my left hand. I'm going to come around here. Okay. Yeah, that's not quite what we want. But we'll get it. Okay. want those feathers to lay kind of contour of that fly. And we're not quite there yet. We need to even those tips up a bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, tie that down two or three times. Now, you've got a couple choices what you want to do from here. Um, the traditional pattern is you just tie that off the head with a whip finish and, and you know if you want to make it a little shiny, put a little head polish on it. There's another variation where you can take a peacock curl and add just a little bit of shiny to it. Okay, since you've got a little, little space there at the head, do this right now. I oh, got it. Okay. Just like, like that. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie that in right there. Go back and just wrap it around a couple, three times. It doesn't take up much room right there. Makes it a little fuzzier. Okay. Tie that on. Ready to 
whip finish and be done with this thing. So let's do it. Go fish it. Okay, guys, see you later.